G'day and welcome to another training video for Tactical Arbitrage. In this video, we're going to talk about the Amazon title buttons. And what I mean by that are these little five buttons down here. So the first icon is a little Amazon icon. And essentially what this does is as long as you're logged into Seller Central, a click of the button here will open your Seller Central and you'll get to this page, the Add a Product page. <clears throat> this little page here tells us that new collectible conditions sell yours. So this is the page where you're going to easily see if you're restricted from selling something. So once you, um, you know, there's reasons why we can't automate it, automatically add this data, but with this single click of a button here, you'll be able to see that information uh, nice and easily. Um, the next button here is the Keeper Graph. Now you can either click the button or just mouse over it. Clicking it will open it in Keeper. So you can see it in greater detail, track it, etc., etc. Ah, uh, camel, camel, camel. We've got. Uh, we don't have a mouse server option for camel, 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 but we certainly can open the product in there if you like to track items in there. Search. We'll search this uh, Amazon title in Amazon. So it's going to open up an Amazon page with the title information there, so you can have a look. This is kind of useful for if you if we're not seeing an exact match here. So uh, by clicking this little search button here, it's going to open up a search and you might say, well, hang on, it's actually number three that should match. Um, I'm using a, an extension here which shows me um, the ASINs directly on the page here. So I might then take that ASIN and then bring it back over to TA and then fix the, uh, the listing. Now, fixing listings is uh, something we can go into in a, another video, but it's certainly... Um, a very successful system called global matching that we've had in the software for a very long time now and uh, based on the global matching um, global matching component of tactical arbitrage we have a hundred thousand mismatched items or more that are now matched perfectly um, for all users to benefit from which we will go over that in a later video so that is what that little search button will do it'll pop open a search of that title on an Amazon page what about this last little button here? Now, the very first time you use this, you might get a little, uh, depending on the browser you're using, you might get a little notification asking if you are okay with pop-ups. Um, but essentially, once you've authorized it once, uh, your browser should store that data. And let me click this little button here. It's gonna open up both instances, the Buy page and the Amazon page. So that is just a quick little, and it's shaped like a little pitchfork there because it'll uh, divide into two. It'll uh, split, it'll open up the two pages from the one button basically. So that is those five buttons, and I'm sure you'll find plenty of uh, handy reasons to use them. In the next video, we're going to have a look at Amazon image cycling.